Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and I'm continuing my common live foods for ants. So if you keep mealworms, you will all encounter where they start pupating into a beetle, which is known as a mealworm beetle or a darkening beetle. Darkling beetle is a common name for a large family of beetles, over 20,000 different species under the name darkling beetle. But we're going to keep calling these darkling beetles as they're part of the family. Now after discovering a darkling beetle walking around my mealworm enclosure, I ended up trying it with the boiling water method with my fire ants, and to my surprise, it went down very well. A nice big swarm came out. They uh, ate it even more ferociously than, say, a dubia roach. So ever since then, once I see them pupating, I pick them out, separate them, and I wait for them to turn into beetles. At this point, they're relatively easy to keep. A bit of uh, protein jelly, uh, the odd bit of apple and fruit, just gut loading them up. Now they're eating quite ferociously. And at that point then, I just feed them off to my ants. I like to work my way through my livestock collection, doing a variety of different things. But I've always got beetles now. So if you're keeping mealworms for your ants, Putting a few aside to turn into darkling beetles could be a good idea. Thanks a lot for watching guys, subscribe, like and comment, peace.